Neil, all things considered, I'd call that a good point tonight. Yeah, when you fall behind, any point's a good point when you have to come from behind. Um, I thought, you know, we tried to try to come up with a plan. We thought, you know, we thought they'd play 4-4-2, but if they did play a 4-3-5-2 uh, that we had, we could almost try and get 3v3 with the pace that we had at the top end of the pitch. Um, I thought we limited a really strong strike force to not a lot. Um, they were a big strong team so we had to be on it at set pieces which I thought we, we did really well at and then you fall behind to a unfortunate goal you know, a little bit of a mistake a punt into the box um, and that's tough you know because at that point we didn't deserve that um, but we responded really well and it was funny because I was just thinking just before they scored I was thinking right 20 minutes to go coming up to 20 minutes to go I'll go two up let's go for the win let's try and, and, and win the game now and then obviously that happened so it, it, it was easy to, to make that decision straight after. Yeah, touching on the um, the sort of the resilience of the lads to come back again, they they, they never give up. Yeah, um, listen, we're all frustrated that we've drawn again and we haven't won and you know, you need wins when you're down there, a couple of wins can make a big difference. Um, you know, we probably need three wins and a few draws to, to get where we want to go in, in a points total. Um, but I can't ask for much more in effort, in team spirit, in character. Um, you know, I don't know what it is, whether it's three defeats in 16. I know there's been far too many draws in there. But when, you, when you're coming into the final third of the season, I'm hoping that team spirit, the fitness, the effort, the camaraderie will carry us through. There is a lot of draws in there. Is there too many draws in terms of... You know, for the games we've got coming up ahead, is that a case of we have drawn simply too many games now? Well, yeah, of course we have. We're, we're down the bottom because we've drawn too many games. When you've only won three games at home, any team that only wins three games at home is always going to be in that bottom half. And that's been our Achilles heel. We know that. There's, there's no doubt that that's our issue. Um, but if you keep losing, then that's a lot worse than, than them keep drawing because you draw, you draw, you draw, all right, it's not ideal, you're not getting away from it, but we're not trying to draw. We're honestly not, we don't go into any game thinking let's nick a point here or let's try and get a draw. We come up with whatever we think the best way is to try and win the game. And when you need to win a game, you need a bit of luck towards the end there when the ball drops and the keeper drops it and it needs a toe poke and it's in and you've won the game um, or a bit of magic um, or not making a mistake. And if you can get all of them things right, you go and win games. And by and large, we're getting a lot of it right, just not doing enough to get over the line. Another goal from a corner. We seem to have you know, got a lot from corners particularly. Is, there, is that a strong point? At the well, we work hard on them. Set pieces are massive in the league. We work hard on them. You need the players to go and attack the balls. And they did. Will Smith attacked it back post with Callum and uh, Will Davis reacted really, really well. So we'll take it. It's a great reaction to falling behind because we didn't deserve to be behind. And we've come out and we've had a right go. We've tried to win the game. We've tried to be brave. And then now I've got to go away and look at Barnet because we know how good they are and find a way of, of making sure that we give them a really good game and try and come away with the points. Yeah, uh, debut for Charlie Allen today. How do you think he did? Yeah, great. Um, you know, I thought he would tire, but he, he didn't. He looked, he looked um, like he was still going strong um, towards the end. Um, tactically, he got a lot of what I worked on yesterday with him really good. He'd done his job for the team without the ball, and probably we didn't give him enough moments to show what he was what he was capable of. I thought we did in the first 20, 25 minutes. We got him a lot of ball, and uh, you know, he went on a couple of runs. He's blisteringly quick, and. Uh, um, you know, hopefully we can we can utilise that. Obviously, I've got to look at him, and you know, he's he's a young lad, just come out of 21, so I've got to pick and choose the right games and use him wisely. But uh, he's certainly a good asset to have with his pace. Yeah, first time we've managed to sort of speak to you about him. What were the attributes that you wanted to bring him in for? Well, it's main, mainly his pace and his directness. You know, he can get at people one by one, take people on. He scored a few goals recently for Leeds this under 21s. I came and watched Leeds play Chelsea here a couple of months back, and Chelsea were very strong. But it was one player on Leeds team that caused them numerous problems, and that was Charlie. And I came away and I sent the boys the team sheet and I said, keep an eye on this lad. He was really, really good on the day. And then when we're talking about wingers and we're talking about maybe just bringing in some something different to what we've got. He was in the back of my mind and the lads went away and watched and we'll come to the decision that uh, he, he would be a good asset for us and hopefully he will be.